welcome to your Better Together groups. I hope you guys have really enjoyed meeting together the last few weeks and talking about our current sermon series, The Art of Neighboring. Today we talked about the cost of being a good neighbor. And we looked at a passage in Luke chapter 18 where the rich young ruler came to Jesus and asking about how to attain eternal life. So I want you guys to realize that nothing in this life is free. Everything that we do costs us something. Whether it's being a good neighbor or just going to the grocery store, it always is going to cost something. Today we talked about it costing time, privacy, peace, and some of our pride. So as you guys get together today and go through the questions, I want you guys to think and discuss about what it's going to cost us to get involved in our neighbor's lives. What is it, what's holding us back? We're going to do a cost-benefit analysis together as a group. We're going to talk about the cost that we're going to have to pay to get involved in our neighbor's lives. And we're going to talk about the benefit. That benefit is our neighbors coming to know who Jesus is. So I want you to do that together tonight or today whenever you're meeting. And weigh all of the costs that you can come up with against the benefits and see how that comes together. All right, before we break out to talk about these discussion questions that you've got, I want you guys to take a second and Pastor Chuck's going to come up and talk to you guys about the block parties we've got coming up in your neighborhoods. So, guys, I hope you've had a great group tonight so far. And guess what? We're within two weeks of our block parties, and I'm so excited about it. Now, this week, you guys are going to have some fun. Now, you all got the flyers already, and hopefully last week you took the time and, and wrote the details on it, and you're ready. Now, there's a couple things I want to um, coach you guys on on this, because this is the week to pass out the flyers. This is also a very exciting week, because... It all of a sudden gets real. This thing is happening. So if you guys need any help with any of the details, maybe you're struggling with some stuff still or trying to figure it out, I want you to know that we're here to help you. You can call me. You can call Jim. Um, let us know. We're here to support you because we really believe God wants to do something great through this. Now, on the flyers, we talked several weeks ago about the scalability of your block party. That's still the case. It's very scalable to your context. We're not coming in and saying, okay, here's a thousand flyers, hit your neighborhood and the two next door. Not at all, okay? Keep in mind, though, when you're doing the flyers, you want to have enough so you get appropriate response. In our experience when doing something like this, a very high percentage of people typically don't come. Let's say that you guys have talked about it and you're prepared for 100 people. In order to get 100 people, that's roughly, depending on your neighborhood, 25 families or 25 houses. In order to get that many, you're going to need to do at least 100 houses. If you guys have a 25% turnout rate, that's amazing. Okay? So don't get freaked out. Maybe you guys are going to put out two, 300 flyers. Okay? The average is usually between 5 and 15% that will actually come out. Um, so keep that in mind. Don't get freaked out that this thing is going to blow way over what you're able to handle because people typically won't respond, okay? I'm not being negative. I'm not trying to put it down. It's just the reality of the culture we live in. So keep that in mind as you're preparing the flyers, as you're going out, and when you're going out to invite people. The best thing to do is knock on the door, take three steps back, and wait up to 30 seconds, Okay? After the 30 seconds, if they don't come, leave the, the uh, flyer on their door. Um, if, if they come to the door, just say, hi, I'm so-and-so, just wanted to invite you to a block party we are doing in a couple weeks. Hand them the flyer, and that's it. You don't need to uh, have any kind of pressure that you need to talk to them. If they want to talk, that's a great, you can have wonderful opportunities. Um, but your main objective is inviting. Um, as long as you're not pushy, as long as you're not weird, people aren't going to be weird back, typically. But it's going to be a fun time. Enjoy it. Um, you know, I really want to encourage you, knock on those doors. When we leave them on the mailboxes and stuff like that, it irritates people. But when they see that it's on the door, that somebody tried to invite them, it speaks volume. Again, this is a great opportunity that we are excited about, and I'm looking forward to hearing all the stories that we're going to hear from this. Guys, have a great time as you're passing out those flyers. In the name of Jesus, we just ask that you would just use our small groups, God, that you would prepare hearts of those neighbors 
that are all around us. God, help this block party be a great tool that we can show your love through. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Enjoy your groups tonight. Thank you guys for coming out. We love you, and we'll see you Sunday. Thank you.